back again. Um, I was planning on starting to do the Zodiac readings, but I woke up today. Actually, I've been waking up um, for a while. Normally, I see 11-11 in the damnedest ways, right? And when I see the number, I know which... I know at what time when they send my guy send eleven eleven to me. I know what that means. I, I just I just understand it because it's just been something natural that's happened on my journey for a very long time. So I naturally know what time of the day they send it, what that means, and all that. So as soon as I woke up, though, I have about seven email accounts. All my email accounts was flooded with fucking eleven eleven. So I knew that that was them telling me I have a message to deliver basically as soon as I wake up, right? But I still had other messages to download. So I wanted to start the Zodiac readings, but I got to do this first. So let me do this first. And then I feel like I should be able to get two Zodiac readings out there. I just hope that they upload. All right. Somebody told me to pull some other cards first. Let's go here then. I hope you guys doing okay. My first, my few readings, last readings been real intense. I hope that someone is hearing the messages because this story keeps coming out. <laughs> for real, for real, for real. Uh, my website for my personal readings will be up. It's actually already up, but there's just a few things that need to be modified. Okay. And then there we go. There are some products on that website, but I also have another store that's opening up for my decks and stuff like that. My decks, my a, a lot of different things that I'm going to be putting up there. That's outside of my jury website because I make the um, I have a website where I, I intentionally, intentionally create. It first started out with waste beads. But um, I intentionally create jury with intentions and I channel energies and I use them as like a, a protection guide for people. All right. Just a few little snippet story of that. So let's see what we have going on here. Archangel Michael, I thank you for these messages of humility, purity, spiritual prosperity, spiritual growth, spiritual enlightenment, and unconditional love. All right, let's get the first card out. Some, I don't know why, but this song just came on out of nowhere. Talking about some, you just lost a good girl. That's a lot of motherfucking cards. I was not trying to do that, all right? All right, off rip. Off rip. Soulmate is in reverse. Letting go is in reverse. And pay attention to the signs is in reverse. And family and tribe is in reverse. Selling out those upright. So somebody sold their soul. And I say that because anytime your family and tribe comes up in reverse with the soulmate here, that means your ancestors saying you sold us out or you sold yourself out and you selling yourself out is selling us out. And it also has something to do with a soulmate. Somebody here, ancestors, and don't tell me this is piggybacking off of these other damn readings. Somebody here, um, and these people really from a tribe too. Look at them. Like these, this was a king and a queen. Damn, that's deep. Staring into this card. And there's a damn tiger on here. And we're in a lion's gate once again. Man, it, whoever you are with this messages, man, please. Like, your ancestors is just like, I don't know what the fuck. Like, I'm just. Dog, let me just get through this reading because this shit don't make no damn sense. This don't make no damn sense. This is... Okay, Um, somebody here is has not been paying attention to the signs. Clearly. All right, then paying attention to these signs. Would have start would have brought in this new beginning. And in this song, when she talking about you lost a good girl, she said we could rewrite history. What the fuck? That's exactly when you come into this awakening. When these awakenings, that's what you're doing. You're rewriting what happened in your past. You're 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 clearing the karmic debt for you and your ancestral line. Clearly, somebody's saying you're not doing that right now. 
This is fucking crazy. So somebody is not paying attention to the signs. Okay. Somebody, no, this is what the fuck is going on. This is what the fuck is going on. Right. I see what the fuck is going on. Somebody was selling their soul. Somebody sold their soul to the devil. Look like, look at her. Look at her. Fucking vampire. Blood on her mouth. The fuck? This is somebody that, like a man eater. Like a man eater, literally. A little, a little, like. W Let me just make this clear in my reading. Y'all, when I cuss, when I say certain shit, my family's from the South. So they say, and I'm very direct. So certain shit come out of my mouth. You have to just listen to the message. Don't let something that some don't you ever let the way that someone says something distract you from hearing what it is that you need to hear. I get that some people are easily triggered and sensitive. So certain things, if it's said a certain way, it fucks with them. But what you what I will hope you understand is this in the ancient days, the elders in, in Africa, in, in the Caribbean, when they spoke, they didn't give a fuck about how they said it. Because at the end of the day, they knew that they still had to show up as who they were. Because if they didn't show up as who they were to you, then they wouldn't be giving you the example of how you're supposed to be your authentic self. So never, ever, 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 ever let the way somebody say something fuck with you. That's, the, that's, the, that's one of the points of mastery. You should be able to sit there and hear what you need to hear and still listen to the shit they're saying, but hear what you need to hear. It's a mental thing. It's a mind game. The mind has to be strong. That's all I want to say. All right? All right. I cuss a lot. All right? I apologize to somebody if that bothers you, but I'm still going to cuss though. All right? I'm only apologizing to you because I know that some people are sensitive like that. And certain curse words and things like that trigger them. I get it. I was raised in a household where it was a lot of cursing and yelling and that shit triggered me. But I said to myself, I said, I'm not going to let that shit stop. I'm not going to let that stop me from hearing what it is I need to hear, though. Because sometimes some of the stuff that was said and it, I might not like the way it was said to me, I needed to hear the shit. And that's just the real. So... That's just where, where I'm going to leave it at that. And hopefully that inspires somebody. Hopefully that helps somebody. Because that's the real truth of the matter. Now, see, now I'm not saying so you're supposed to let somebody abuse you. You know, we got common sense out here. But they say common sense ain't so common. So I don't know. But I'm just saying. If, if, if it's not abusive. And you just don't like the way the fuck it's said. Then, I mean, that's you. Then you got to understand why you being triggered by it. Then that might be a sign. That might be a sign from your, your guides. That you might just be triggered and you might need to figure out why. That's why I show up my authentic self. Because maybe my me showing up my authentic self helps somebody. If you're triggered, then that means it might help you. Anyway, so somebody here in the past was selling out their soul to this little demon right here. All right? And it was fucking with a soulmate connection. And not only was th this soulmate connection was connected to your ancestors, to your tribe, to your lineage, to many past lives. Whoever this is, because this message keep coming the fuck out, I would like you to know if I've never said this in any of these readings before, I'm going to say it now. You and this, this soulmate of yours, y'all families are connected. Because it keep coming out. Okay, I, I'm, I haven't seen no shit like this where the family tribe is coming out with the soul. This is the first time that the family tribe came out together with the soulmate. It usually come out my readings, but it be separate. This is together. This is them saying, what's good? Okay. This, 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 your your twin or soulmate is connected to your ancestors. And they want to see her back. He or she. They want you. They want them back. They want them back in the family. Look at this shit. I can't make this up. They want them back. They want y'all back like this. I'm just saying. This was some type of royal couple. And whoever you are. Your ancestors, when y'all linked families, it's like y'all linked in some type of level of royalty that I don't need. I can't even explain right now. But I could the energy, the energy that I'm feeling is beautiful. Like I can whew, let me let me let me relax. Okay. And at that time you weren't paying attention to the signs and that kept that kept the cycle constantly open, open and open and open again. 
Like you never close out this cycle because you weren't paying attention to the signs. But now they saying that you you are becoming an alchemist and you're not letting this shit go. That's what this is. You're not letting it go. That's what the fuck going on. Let's see here. And they playing this guy. His name is Van Hunt. The name of the song is Dust. And he's saying, I'm already insane. I'm already in pain. So somebody here is... Somebody here is becoming an alchemist. They're learning how to transmute energy. They're learning how to take the pain that they have. And they learn how to turn it into something positive. They're learning how to take it uh, mentally. And, and erase, take those memories from their subconscious mind that they experienced with this past shit and transmute it transmute it to their higher good for their higher selves they're learning how to do that that's what's going on here and they're not letting go of this connection that's what's going on that's past energy this is present this is this is kind of like the reading that i did the other day that was an hour long okay when in the past they basically put out the reasons why the star baby the star child is not here and then what this person is doing now so let's see what's going on here Let's see who this is. Let's see who in what energy this is. Mm, I can't make it up. Six of cups at the bottom of the deck for past, past inner child nostalgia, past life. But we we with this reading, I mean, it's it's clear as day. This is past life. Okay. Okay. Hold on. That's too many cards. It fell all out like that because I got distracted because this eight of wands was trying to come right on out and i was just like i don't know some that's too many i need one at a time come on god damn that's way too many let's do this again okay the lovers is in reverse here so and it fell over here with this this energy where this person was not paying attention to the signs not paying attention to their guides this clearly is your ancestors you had some strong ancestors and they were coming through for you strongly but you weren't listening to them okay that's what that is because that car fell right on over there you was also denying the many transformations you were you were um you were you were going through transformations and you were um you were resisting them you were resisting them. They was trying to try to help. There's some type of separation that happened here between you and this soulmate. Okay. And your ancestors were trying to tell you you were making a wrong move. You were you were making a mistake. They were trying to tell you were making a big fucking mistake and you weren't listening. Okay. Let's find out why you weren't listening. Why wasn't this person listening? All right, should I just change the deck? Shit. The, them not listening, obviously, it, it brought a lot of burdens to the connection. The Ten of Wands here. Um, a lot of, it, brought a, a, brought, it brought a lot of burdens to yourself. And you had to work extra harder than what you would have had to had you been listening to your ancestors. Okay? You brought a lot of unne unnecessary obligations to yourself as well. A lot of uh, extra responsibility. It's extra responsibility because... It wasn't something that was in your path originally. Like this wasn't, you brought this to yourself. Like this is not what your ancestors or your guides had originally uh, planned for you. When you uh, ended this connection, all right, and they were trying to tell you not to because this was part of your growth, you brought a lot of unnecessary burdens to yourself by doing that because they were trying to um, help you, all right? This connection actually was supposed to be here to heal you with the star card. But instead, you ended it and brought a lot of burdens to yourself. And that, that slowed up your transformation and your healing. In actuality, um, this would have sped up your transformation, but you ended it. Is what, they're, is what they're saying. You ended it. Okay. You ended it. Um, I don't know why I get the sense when I saw this magician card after, you know, you ended it because you wanted to do things the way you wanted to do. I get the sense that you were being very, um, there is some black magic going here, like some manipulating of energy here. 
there was some type of levels of manipulating of energy going on here so this is the way i'm reading this energy after you ended this connection right you knew you knew what is divine feminine after you ended this connection you decided in your mind you decided you could do this on your own and in 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 the process of you doing that with this seven of wands that came out in reverse here and the process of you feeling like you could do this on your own it brought you these burdens like we talked about and when it brought you these burdens you didn't know how to handle this anymore because she was your she was helping you she was your teacher and you became overwhelmed you almost wanted to give up and for some reason even when your guys kept trying to get get you get a hold of you you would not surrender yet you were having all these uh negative thoughts about yourself all right you didn't believe in yourself with this knight of pentacles in reverse you didn't believe in yourself but yet and still for whatever reason i don't know what the reason is and we may find out um you wanted to you wanted to walk away from this energy that was put here to actually help you and guide you through this okay and at some point with this knight of pentacles in reverse i feel like you did this because you were unsure of this journey too but it's just weird because you were unsure of the journey but you still felt like you could do this on your own and when you realized you was not able to do this on your own you had all these negative thoughts about yourself so that could only give lead me to the to the conclusion that you just felt stuck and in feeling stuck, you you start to feel unsure of the journey. And that was only because you left this journey prematurely. You left it prematurely. That's why your guys were trying to tell you to slow down your row. Because this feminine here, this soulmate here that's here with you, was, was the key to helping you through this journey. You're twin flames. That's why they assigned this person to you. Because this person was going to help you heal. That's what I'm seeing here. What else do you guys have here? But you prematurely ended it for something. You sold your soul for something. Let's find out what it was. I'm going to tell the move to another deck. Okay, what did they sell their souls for? Karmic friends. It was karmic friends. It's in reverse now. I really don't know what that means. I'm not sure if that karmic friends, karmics, okay, karmics, karmic friends. So you were selling your, you were selling out your journey for karmic friends and karmics. Um, there was there was a combination of somebody giving out money to karmic friends, possibly a karmic as well. All right. Can you clarify this Miriam for money card here? Okay, so this is what happened. You walked away from this soulmate connection because this 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 energy here your soulmate rather was a female energy or a male energy their light was irritating you it was triggering you it was triggering the hell out of you it was forcing you to face your demons but you didn't want to so you walked away from it to go towards karmics and karmic friends and then you end up intertwining with a karmic where you were giving out you were we talked about that earlier it said that you were giving out more of the burdens card we talked about that you were putting extra burdens and responsibilities on yourself and obligations that you didn't have to because of you when you walked away from this connection when you ended this connection because you wanted to do what you wanted to do and this was part of your soul's contract and your journey you created a karmic contract for yourself because i get the feeling that somebody here what i'm hearing is that i keep doing these readings because somebody here wants to go back from the beginning how they got here and these readings are somehow helping them understand this. That's what I'm getting from this, okay? 
this these are some energies that this is what's going on here this is why i keep doing these readings because they're the same but they're different i'm noticing it's coming out differently in different ways so when you ended this soulmate contract and was defiant against your ancestors and defiance against the the, the um, angels and ascended masters you created a karmic so contract for yourself because what was going to happen was this twin flame connection was a mirror for you to see yourself so you could heal yourself okay because you're individually were supposed to heal yourselves so that you could get on your divine path and also become a teacher as well but when you ended that because you couldn't handle that you were being triggered by your mate your soulmate to face your own demons you went towards karmic friends and a karmic and you were giving out money you were bringing on extra burdens and uh responsibilities on yourself that you didn't need to because you sold out your soul is there anything else you guys have to say about this because i i, I can pick up the energy that you want to know what happened because now you want to change things and you don't want to make the same mistakes again because you know i just did a reading of this so if you are this this energy so whoever story this is you might want to go check out the hour reading because i go in detail of what exactly you did when it talks about the where is our star c baby you might want to look at that one and two and three matter of fact you might want to just go look at a lot of my readings because a lot of them are timeless they, they they may sound like the same messages but they're not it's something different in there every time yeah the extra trigger car came out i said that you were extra triggered by um you were extra triggered by this soulmate because you didn't want to face your demons and that had a lot to do with you feeling neglected as a child okay so this was an inner child issue and your ancestors knew that that's why they paired you with this person because they knew this person knew you they know that this person knew you from the back of the hand because this person nine times out of ten obviously was with you from several past lives so they knew and I say that obviously they were with you from several past lives, as I said earlier. This fair, the, the, your soulmates, your soulmate family, y'all families know each other. Y'all spirit families know each other. So they, they all, they agreed before y'all got here. They, they agreed on a contract to put y'all back together again because they knew that this person was going to get you right where you needed to be. They knew it, but it was something about this person that triggered the hell out of you. But they knew this person was gonna get you right where you needed to be. They knew it. That's why they were trying to warn you before you ended this, but you plotted to end it. And then they brought you extra shit, unnecessary shit in your, on, your, on your path. Yeah, it says here, you were running, you were running from the connection because you were triggered. Okay, because it was triggering your inner child. Now you're curious about the person. Because now you've come into some idea, obviously, that this, this situation was meant to help you okay now you're now you're realizing it all right let's get an angel message and then i'm gonna close out of here so i can start on these zodiac messages because there's no need to go deeper into this because this message is these messages um are different but this and but similar Archangels, uh, what and angels message do you want to send out here? What angel message do you want? That's a lot, y'all. That's a whole lot. Okay, spiritual test. So, before I pull this card out, because it's five of these here, all right? Um, this being honestly, your interactions with people was in reverse. So I feel like right now, even though you're trying to walk on a on a straight path, you're still not being all the way honest. Okay, so there's a lot going on here with you. So with you getting to this point, not wanting to let this connection go and want to be an alchemist of your own life, they are telling you this is the angel's guidance, literally. Spiritual tests, be positive when you face specific obstacles. Indeed, some issues are beyond your understanding. 
This will take guidance by the angels to reveal what you are going through. So basically, they put this card out here because you did this before when they were trying to warn you. Remember out here with this ancestor soulmate card we had out earlier? And you felt like you could do this yourself, but you got frustrated, remember? So they're telling you when this comes and happens again, you need to go to them. You need to say something. Don't try to act like you know it all or you got it because you don't, is what they're saying. Okay, because they realize that with these types of awakenings, like humans need help with this. That's normal. I need a help. Shit. So they're telling you to go, go to them. Don't try to put your ego in this. It says use your personal power wisely. Don't misuse it. Yeah, because last time, remember, you sold your soul out. They're saying be honest in your interactions with people, but this was in reverse. So that's telling me that. Even though you want to go through this test and be better, you're still not being completely honest about things. And they're saying that you need to be. It says respect human potential that each possesses regardless where they are at in their lives. So stop judging people. Some reason somebody told a guy told me to come back and say to you, be honest in your interactions with people. If you feel like you have put yourself in situations where you feel like you have to lie your angels are telling you you need to pray first. And they'll tell you, show you a different way of how to handle it. It says, do things that make you feel empowered and happy. And then the bottom of this deck, it says, process of spiritual awakening or journey. Forgiveness starts with, so they're telling you, you need to do a lot of shadow. I call, I name them different things, shadow, root, healing work. Because to me, they're all the same thing. Okay. Okay. This is all about your dedication to your journey. So this is your ancestors telling you, we want to see how dedicated you are. Are you really serious? Are you for real? Because I'm, I don't get the sense that they're judging you. But at the same time, um, what I've learned about guides is that they're very realistic and they're very real and raw. So they're not judging you, but they have to put it out there like it is. Like your track record has shown X, Y, Z. So if your track record has shown in your actions that you have been prone to these actions, they're going to say something. They're not going to ignore it because if they ignored it, they don't love you. That I don't get why people think that telling somebody the truth is not love. That's, that's hell yeah, that's love. Because that's what they do. So this is what it's saying. And I put shadow root work here because I'm familiar more with root work because when i think about root i think about the root chakra right and it gets to the the bottom of it unfiltered nasty raw dirty filthy it gets to it okay so i just put all of them there so so that it can help others that you know those words for some reason may catch somebody so that's this reading you guys and I'd like to thank you once again for your support, your love, your kindness. Um, what the hell do I want to say to you guys? I don't know. I just know I don't like to fake situations. So if I have something to say, I'll say it. And if I don't, I don't. All right. So um, everything you need from uh, about me is in my description in the link below. Um, again, my website is open to readings, personal readings. It's not all the way finished how I like it, but it is open right now. So everything's there. You can email me, whatever the case may be. Whatever. All right. Deuces. Bye.